Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. And this, my friends, is gold. This is gold right now. Uh, at least where I am situated in upstate New York, you cannot find this. You can go to uh, Walmart. You can go to Big Lots. You can go to any of the chain grocers. You can go to the convenience stores. You can't find this. Um, toilet paper is gold. There's been panic buying on this for the last few days in my neck of the woods and probably in yours as well. Um, I live in an area where, for the most part, people are, are very sleepy. They don't really have a clue. They, they've, a lot of them have heard there's some bad virus going around, and they just go back to uh, whatever they're doing on their phones, and, and, uh, and it's like whatever or something. But uh, in all seriousness, folks... Um, as I've been out and about the last couple of days, just trying to firm up the supplies I already have, I'm, I'm seeing toilet paper gone. I'm seeing paper towels gone. I'm seeing stocks of uh, bottled water disappearing. People around here are buying meat like crazy. Meat. That's great. That's great in your freezer until the electricity goes out. Then what you do. But I'm starting to notice that there's a rush on canned goods. There's a there's a rush on, on things that are non-perishable. Um, how warranted th is this? Well, I would say quite warranted if we end up with uh, travel restrictions here in the United States of America, possibly expanded martial law that may uh, that may basically uh, prohibit any movement anywhere in the country unless you're going to work or going to the store, or depending on where you are, it may be no movement at all. Um, so the point of me making this video is is not to uh, make fun of the fact that toilet paper is gold, but just to to remind you, if, if there's anything you are lacking at this point, if you can get it, if you can get anywhere to get it, please get it now, because I'm expecting by next week, um, we're going to be close to a lockdown here in this country. Uh, we, we may very well be following suit with Italy and Spain as the, uh, the COVID-19, uh, the sea bug, uh, that bioweapon. You know, I don't use it in my titles anymore because YouTube doesn't like when I uh, use that. Uh, the reference to the actual uh, infection, uh, they, they like to bury my videos behind uh, so many others. So the bug. But anyway, uh, please. Now is the time to make your final preps, but most importantly, um, now is the time to be prayerful. Now is the time to be careful. Now is not the time or is ever the time to be fearful. Some may say this is being blown way out, out of proportion. I'm, I'm looking at governments at this point just taking the opportunity to use this bioweapon as a chance to flex their muscles, and you can read into that what you will, uh, as a chance to uh, to herd us in to uh, to our homes or herd us into larger cities. I, I see, I, I see uh, the possibility, the strong possibility of overreach here uh, with, uh, with with sociopaths who who run so many uh, parts of this government here in the United States of America, especially on the individual state levels. Uh, taking the chance to flex their muscles. So before you get trapped in, please take take a last minute uh, trip out somewhere if you can find toilet paper to make sure you have enough. If you can find non-perishable food, I wouldn't be out buying meat, folks. If you lose power and you don't have a generator, that meat's going to spoil. Be smart. Uh, Chef Boyardee spaghetti. I know it's not that great. Beefaroni isn't that great, but you know what? If it's between that, eating that cold out of a can and starving, I think you would probably choose those over uh, hunger. Uh, be prepared. Be prepared. We've never seen anything like this in the United States of America, and somehow I believe we haven't seen anything yet. Um, a lot of eyes are going to be opened. A lot of people, again, in my area, people are, are sleepy sheep, and they are they're, they're being rudely awakened right now. Um, Hand sanitizer. I mean, again, I, I don't, uh, we're, in my opinion, hand sanitizer is a placebo. Uh, to make sure you put lots of, after you wash your hands, put on your hand sanitizer. Whatever is in the air, it's not going to protect you from what's in the air. Okay. I mean, hand sanitizer, fine, use it. It's good to have clean hands. Wash your hands off, and you should be washing your hands off in any way. Um, but toilet paper is gold right now. 
And if you need it, I, I, I hope and pray that you can find it. Please be prayerful. Jesus is the only way out of this. And uh, he, he can come back anytime. Jesus is, is our protector, our defender, our intercessor. This, this is going to get bad, folks. It's bad now. It's going to get much worse. I should say that. So be prepared. Be prepared for anything, but do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jim's signing off, and I hope I see you soon.